Hi, I'm Michael Nelson, and I'm from Ms. Johnson's class. Today I'll be reading The Boy and the Whale by Mordecai Gerstein. Every day I love to watch the sun rise out of the sea. One morning I saw something in the water, something big. That's a whale out there, said Papa. It looks dead. We jumped into our panga for a closer look. Oh no, yelled Papa. He cursed the whale with words I'd never heard him say. It's tangled in our net, our only net. I hope we can save it. Save the whale, Papa. No, my son. Save our net. The whale is dead. We dive into the water. I had never been so close to an animal so huge. Wrapped by the net in a hopeless tangle, the whale must have died, unable to move. I had been tangled in a net once, too. I almost drowned. Papa saved me. The whale's closed eyes were as big as my head. And then it blinked, and I had to. Breathe. So did the whale. Papa, I gasped. The whale's alive, just barely, said Papa. But our net is ruined. We have no money for a new one. He turned the boat toward the shore. Maybe, he said, we can try to fix my uncle's old net and borrow it. But what about the whale, I said. The whale, said Papa. Maybe we should free it, I said. Do you know, said Papa, how difficult and dangerous that would be? But it might live. It destroyed our net, said Papa. How will we live? I'm going to see my uncle. Forget the well and don't do anything foolish. Yes, Papa, I said. I looked back out to the well. I remember being caught in the net, feeling helpless and the awful fear. What does the whale feel? It's so big. I couldn't free it myself. If I tried, Papa would be very angry. I stood there for a long while. Then I jumped into the panga and headed for the whale. I had to try. I took my fishing knife, hoped the whale wouldn't slap me with his tail and dived in. There was so much of it, maybe Papa was right. I began to cut away through plastic netting. I dived and cut and dived again. If only I didn't have to. Breathe. I was getting tired. How much longer, I wonder. Could I do this? Well, I thought, do you have a name? Mine is Abelardo. I'm so very sorry about the net, Will, but fishing is how we live. Do you know I'm trying my best to save you? But I don't know if I can. When I looked again into the whale's eyes, all I saw was my own reflection. Don't die, Will. I'm doing my best. But then the net began to drift loose. Out of the water, I worked at pulling the, the net away from the wheel. It filled the boat, but there was no, still more. Then I saw the wheel move a flipper. And all at once, the wheel was free. It sped away from the boat, and I cheered, Goodbye, whale, goodbye. It dived and disappeared.
It burst out of the water, leaped into the sky, spun around, crashed back into the sea, and out again. The whale slapped its tail and leaped again and again, forward and backward, higher and higher, on and on. Are you dancing to thank me, whale? Or just for the joy of being free? I watched the whale until it vanished into the sea. Papu was watching too, waiting on the beach. I went to face him. You actually did it, he said. Yes, Papa. You disobeyed me. Yes, Papa, I said. It was incredibly foolish, said Papa, and it was very brave. Now come, my uncle's net needs fixing. Yes, Papa, I said. When the